Hello everyone, how are you today? My name is Amy Williams and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. It is Sunday, July 7th, 2024. I cannot believe it is already July. Um, as a teacher, this is the time of year that normally I'm like, oh, I don't wanna go back. But you know what? I'm really, really excited about this year. I think it is gonna be a fantastic year. So, um, and then, uh, so I wanna show this because one of my beautiful children gave me this at the end of last year. She had made this for me. And this is why I'm a teacher. Um, well, I'm a librarian, but I'm, I still teach. I, st I still am a teacher. Um, and I still teach even as a librarian. I do lessons, you know, things like that. So this is why this is why I do what I do. Um, and it also allows me to, um, you know, buy the stuff. So all this uh, and do what I love to do other times. So uh, this is a really exciting time um, for us, um, for Stampin' Up! This month, they're having bonus days, okay? It's only for the month of July. So for every US $50 you spend, okay, you get a five dollar coup in July for fifty every fifty dollars you spend um, before tax and shipping. You get a five dollar coupon to use in August. So July you spend the fifty dollars. August you redeem those. They will send you a code. Do not lose that email because it has the code. As soon as you get, as soon as you push, um, you know, submit then it will it will send you that email so just just watch for that okay um in canada it is sixty dollars for six dollars bonus i'm pretty sure um if you do not have a demonstrator i would love to be your demonstrator um you can find the link to my stampin up website down below in the description um, I would, I would love, love, love to have you. Um, one other thing that you can get right now is this glass mat that I use. Now I, I, for my, um, YouTubes, I put a, um, a piece of, uh, grid paper on there just because, um, it, it gets, um, it, it gets a shadow or, uh, the light shines, it causes a thing. And so I, I do that for here, but I love, love, love my glass mat and I use it all the time so highly highly suggest that and you're you know not having to buy more grid paper and blah 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 so this is a great 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 investment um i think that's it let me show you what we're gonna do i'm really really excited about today okay here we go all right let's see this is on because the last time i did this it was not on and when it finally went dark i was like why did it go dark well because you're an idiot, Amy. Okay, so we are going to make this card right here. I am so excited, okay? Now, I did see this technique somewhere on the internet. I can't remember who. I don't think it was a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, but I kind of made it my own. And don't leave before the end because I have this in several other designs and colorways. Okay, so I am using the Spotlight of the Nature dies and these y'all are awesome i love a good circle and i think these are a great circle so i used these and i used the smallest of both okay i feel like lately i'm really liking smaller things rather than larger i'm kind of doing that so these are a little over an inch okay if you see on my grid paper they're a little larger than an inch I think you don't want to go too much um, larger than that for this technique, okay? We do have other um, um, we do have other sets that have circles. Um, now, you don't have to use both of them. You can just use one, okay, and do it a lot. But that was a lot of die cutting, and quite honestly, that just seemed like more work than I wanted to do. And I could do two at a time here. If you have two of the same size, if you have a punch, use that. Do whatever you want. And I just kind of like the, the little bit of variegation and difference. So I, th I thought that was fun. All right. So as you can see, I did use a bit of um, designer series paper. And that is this one. It is called Thoughtful Designs. This is in the new catalog. 
It is gorgeous variegated paper, okay? And it it's hard to see on camera, but it is variegated. It kind of goes from light to dark, even though you're like, Amy, you're just moving it. But I promise you, it is variegated and it is lovely. And I'll be honest, I think it fits almost every single color in our collection. You can really see it here. You can go light. Let me see if I can put that light on there. See how that goes light to dark? All right. All right, so there's ones I've used. Do not get rid of that, right? Okay, here's this one that's got the pinks. We've got this one that goes like from, to me, you can go berry burst to night of navy or misty moonlight, you know? So I think, I think you can do so much with that. This is all your corals and oranges. All right, and I think that's it. One, two, three, four, five. You get two of each one of these. Um, I just think it's just ugh, love it. Love, love, love this. Um, so I used it. Um, now you're going to cut out a whole lot of circles like this. This is a scrappy card to me because it's going to use your scraps. Like if you look here, I save scraps and people make fun of me. So for this one, that was cut and that was cut. I got four or three more circles out of that. If I had thrown that away, I wouldn't have, you know, been able to do that. You know, this is part of another thing that I had done. I saved it. Again, this I saved. I got two more circles out of it. Perfect for me. Um, just, just know that save your, save your scraps. Okay, you can use them and um, just save them. Just, just trust me. Um, I keep mine in little little folders like this. I'm not throwing that little piece out. I will use that at some point. So there you go. Okay. So I'm going to show you how I'm going to lay out this card. Um, I went ahead and die cut these because um, that would be mind-numbingly boring for you to see me die cut these okay but i am going to show you with some other ones okay honestly i kept the pool party ones to do on camera and i did do them on camera turns out camera wasn't on so i had to redo so these are some that i had already cut out that i hadn't all i did for this is i took them i'm going to move this out of the way i folded okay and either bone fold like that or fold and use your fingers, okay? Just don't get too crazy there, okay? That's all it is. Fold, fingernails, or bone folder. You just wanna make sure you have a nice good crease on it, okay? And so there's that, okay. So I'm gonna lay this out here before I put it onto my paper, okay? Now, I'm starting with white, okay? And I've got the the lines, if you can see, go this way, this way, this way, and this way. All right. So I'm going to start with it up, and I'm going to start this. I'm going to start it with this design. Doesn't matter. You can start with whatever design you want. So that one's going to go like that. That one's going to be up, and that one's going to be to the side. So that is my first row. Okay obviously not on. It's just there for me. Okay. So the second row, I'm going to start with the other pattern. If you have solid circles or what, you don't have to worry about that. You just need to worry about having it go. Do, 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 do. Okay. I don't know. That's probably not the way to say that, but it worked for me. So there you go. Okay. This guy was hiding like that. Okay, so then I've got that. Now on this one, what I did was I did my um, designer series paper there. I'm gonna switch it this time and I'm gonna do Lost Lagoon this time. So I'm gonna do Lost Lagoon. This was Pool Party. This is Lost Lagoon. Okay, this way, oopsie, no this way and this way. Doesn't matter what way they're facing up or down there. That Okay, now I'm gonna use this. Now since this is a variegated um thing and there's not a huge difference but i am gonna try to kind of um go light to dark all right because i do want my darkest one to be on that side all right so there's that one and then my last one is my pretty peacock and it's gonna go like this 
Okay, two, oopsie, three, and four. All right, so this is just it. Just for me, I need that visual, okay? Now I'm gonna take a piece of basic white, okay? And this is five by three and three fourths, okay? And I'm gonna put it on here, and I'm gonna take my stamp and seal, and I'm gonna do a row. I'm kind of doing it closer to the top because I want to have room for my happy birthday on this one, okay? All right, so I'm going to start with this one, okay? And I'm going to put it like this. And I'm not like, okay, hold on. I want it kind of like that. I want to get it as straight as possible, that little thing I want as straight as possible, okay? Then I'm going to do my second one and it's gonna go under, and they are gonna overlap. I want to try to be as even in my overlap as possible, especially on this one. So over, under, over, over, and under, okay? So I'm gonna kinda of look at this, and I see, oh, well, that kinda of goes off. Well, I'm gonna, Move these down just a hair, okay? That's why I'm not sticking them on like super, super good. All right, and I see that that's kind of got mm, stuff on it, so I'm gonna move, oh, I can't, well. Oh, oh well, that's okay, that'll be fine. Nobody will notice, but I'll notice. Oh well, it's okay, it's all good. Okay, so I'm gonna move this over just a bit. Okay, I'm gonna move this over just a bit. Okay, I'm gonna move this over a bit, and then I'm gonna move that over a bit. Just, just to kind of make these as even to the ends as possible, okay? And I can see that I kind of went up. Can you see that? All right, this first row is really, this is your setup row, so you, you kind of wanna spend just a, the hair time of that. Okay, so I'm happy with that. All right, now I'm gonna go with my second row. So on the second row, I want, oh, you know what I wanna do? I wanna put some adhesive down because, well, it's not gonna stick if there's no adhesive. All right, this is a new stamp and seal and it doesn't really like me so much. Okay, all right, so this way is gonna go sideways and it's gonna go on top. Now, I kind of want this to kind of be full, I mean, to, to meet. So on this, I'm gonna go in and under. So I'm gonna have the opposite of that, okay? So there's that, so there, over, under, over. If this goes under, this goes over. Does that make sense? Over, under. And the last one, under the top, over this. And you aren't pushed out, okay. And you're gonna go like that, okay? So I've got, I wanna make sure, oopsie, you need to go to the side, dude. All right, so then I've got this like that. Row two is done. So the second one, this is the, the hardest thing apparently for me to forget is to put the actual adhesive down. All right, so there you go. Okay, so here's my next row. This is gonna go under, okay? Okay, like that, and I want it to be as straight as possible. And then this one is gonna be over and under on this side. Now, if this kind of gets stuck down, I've used my take your pick tool, and I feel like that really does, um, does wonders for me. So I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna do that. Mm -hmm. Okay. I feel like I have some itchiness here, itching a little bit. This, I think. Okay, we're, we're gonna we're gonna keep going. Okay, it's all good. It's good, it's good, it's good, it's good. Okay, so this is gonna go under this and over that, and I do feel like that needs to move over a bit because I wanna keep this, um, okay, that straight up. This needs to be straight up, sorry. I'm having technical issues today because I, all right, so that's gonna be this way and over. And then my last one is gonna be over 
and under on here. Does that make sense? That it's gonna go sideways, because that one was not. So that is that, just like that. Okay, so I've got three rows done. Now I'm gonna do my, um, my fun, you don't have to do it. If you if you don't want to, you don't have to do that. You can do anything you want because it's yours. So this goes over and it goes sideways. So I'm gonna do sideways like that, okay? Boom. And then this one is gonna go under and over like that, okay? This one's gonna go over and under like that. And it's gonna go sideways, because that's how it was. All right. And then this one is going up, over, and under sometimes. Okay. I feel like every single time I did this, it did fine until today, because until I'm showing you on camera, because isn't that how things go, right? Okay. Two, three, four. Oh, yeah. All right. So I've got that one, and then I'm gonna do my last row of adhesive, and this one is going under, because that one was over. Mm. All right, I'm gonna pull that. Yeah, I know I got that over there a little bit. It's okay, it's all good, it's good, it's good, okay? Luckily, my husband's home. I waited until he got home to do the video, because the dog will be with him, and I don't have to listen to him bark. Okay, there's my pretty peacock row, like that. Then this is gonna go under, over, like that. And then this one is gonna go under, over, like that. Okay, isn't that? I mean, I'm sorry, y'all. I just love this. I think it's so cool. I know it was a little fiddly, but um, I think I think you can do it. Trust me, you can do it. If I can do it, you can do it. All right, now I am using, <laughs> shockingly, Sweetly Scripted, because you know it's my absolute favorite in the whole wide world. I'm using Happy Birthday. I had another idea. So every year I make um, gifts for, let me make sure I'm gonna do Happy Birthday, right? I think that's right. You know what? I'm just gonna I'm just gonna check to make sure I'm gonna do it right. Yeah, I did. Okay. Um, I make gifts for my teachers. Okay, so let me do this. I can't do two things at once. Um, happy birthday! Yay! All right, I do. I make gifts for my teachers every year, and this year I am making. And usually it's a um, like a notepad or a sticky note holder or something. This year I'm doing something a little different. We, um, if you are, um, I know a lot of you are friends with Sharon Armstrong and you know her uh, Creative 8 retreat. So I'm, and I'm gonna put this on here. Um, so her Creative 8 retreat um, that she does with um, Brandy, um, Brandy's cars, can't think of her name. Everybody else knows it. Um, Connie Stewart, Jackie Bull uh, Bullo, I'm not sure how to say her name, um, Bullows, Brandy, can't think of it, and Sharon Armstrong. So anyway, uh, they do a, a Creative 8 retreat every quarter, and I've been lucky enough to, uh, this is Lost Lagoon. Last time I did pool party, this time I'm doing Lost Lagoon, because do something different. Um so they do lots of projects. It's so fun. And if you know, if you don't know, um, Sharon, um, let me know and I will get you in touch with her so you can um, do it. They have one coming up in just a few weeks. Here is my card. So um, I do them a gift. This this is from a creative a, re, a retreat a couple years ago. This cute little, or a couple times ago, this is a box and it opens. Ha ha! And I put, I'm gonna give them all, they can all choose their candy. So this is what I'm making. I'm making it for all of the teachers in my school and all the librarians, plus a few other extra people. So I've got about a hundred of these to make. Um, I've made one, um, but it's not finished. So, um, so there's that. But this year I thought, oh, wouldn't it be also nice if I did a birthday card for everybody? So I guess that's what I'm doing. Um, so here are the two. This one has a pool party background. This one has Lost Lagoon. Now, did I stop there? 
Why, no, I did not. I wanted other colorways. So here is a purple colorway. This is white, bubble bath, fresh freesia, Highland Heather, and gorgeous grape. I did not do a, um, a specialty paper on that. Just didn't. Then I was like, I, I picked one. I picked my least favorite color of that paper I showed you because I wanted to, to do something. So I did greens and you know what? I'm really happy with this. White, soft sea foam, the specialty paper, old olive, mossy meadow. I love it, great boy card. And then because I love a little bit of sparkle, I did a pink one. Oh, so if you have this glitter paper, that's the in pet color glitter paper. So I did white, the in paper glitter paper, uh, pretty in pink. Here's that um, designer series paper and uh, melon mambo. Oh, how fun is that? Okay, so here is here are my cards. Y'all, I think these are so fun. Um, once you get it and you're not talking and you're not on camera, y'all, it's 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 pretty easy to do, okay? The hardest part is die cutting. Truly, that's the only hard part of this whole card. Give me a shout, tell me what you think. Um, tell me what you like, didn't like. Um, there's no dark barking, so. Oh, I do wanna point out, look at the difference, okay? So I decided to put this on this row because it was darker. This, I went here a, a row up because it was lighter. It's really hard to see on camera, but just trust me, that's why I did that. Um, all right, let me know what you think. If you ever have questions or need anything, please reach out to me. I am here for you. Thank you, thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a glorious week. Bye.